September is designated by the federal government as National Preparedness Month. It's a time for everyone to get together, to uh, be aware of uh, the various things that can happen in a community, to prepare yourself, to prepare your employees, and to prepare your community and participate in those uh, potentially life-saving activities. Historically, Clark County has weathered more than a few natural and man-made disasters, and despite our usually dry desert climate, wet weather is usually the culprit associated with catastrophe. We certainly had some significant weather this winter. In December, within the same four-day period, we had avalanche conditions on Mount Charleston, 90 inches of snow in eight days, uh, which made for very dangerous snow conditions up on the mountain during the holiday season, and also some flooding in the northeast part of Clark County, Moapa, Moapa Valley, Mesquite, and that area. Irene Navis is Clark County's point person in emergency management and promotes preparedness year-round. And she recommends being extra vigilant this September. But as we come up to the anniversary of 9-11 and we understand how important it is to be prepared in the case of any kind of an incident that can happen to anyone, we want to make sure people know that there are things that they can do to take care of themselves and that there are resources in the community and nonprofits and government and private sector that can help everybody get back on their feet. Emergency experts recommend a three-level approach to emergency preparedness. As an individual, you should ready your family for any disaster, have an evacuation plan and emergency kits with at least a three-day supply of food, water, and clothing. Businesses and organizations need to design emergency plans for their employees and keep up to date on safety training drills and exercises. And finally, all of us as a community can be vigilant by heeding all emergency alerts, learn about the See Something, Say Something campaign, and volunteer with reputable groups who provide community assistance, such as the Red Cross. They can happen anytime, anywhere, any community. For here, for us here in Southern Nevada, you know, it's, it's a little unusual because when we get weather, it's, it, it can be very severe, but it only happens a few times a year, and most of the time we have moderate temperatures. So it's not something that's in people's consciousness every day.